Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to episode number 33 of my Slasher Movie Archives. In this video, I will be giving my review for The Mutilator, also known as Fall Break, released in 1984. By sword, by pick, by axe, bye-bye. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. This spine-tingling chiller is a harrowing tale of five high school students whose dream vacation of a fun-filled holiday at the beach becomes a nightmare when they are stalked by the mutilator. Ed, a likable high school student, busily discusses vacation plans with his friends when he receives a message from his father asking that he close up the summer house at the beach. While his friends feel that it's the perfect opportunity for a vacation, Ed is uneasy about the request, as his father has never quite forgiven him for the accidental shooting of his mother. When the group arrives at the summer house, they discover Ed's father's collection of bizarre weapons. To add to their anxieties, there is an ever-present feeling that they are being watched. Suddenly, Ed's house guests begin to meet bizarre deaths, each one more grisly than the next, but the mutilator is saving the best for last, the best for Ed. Their horrifying vacation was no day at the beach. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. The mutilator has the perfect setup for a revenge-style slasher movie. A tragic event happens in the past that changes lives forever. Years later, someone who has never quite gotten over this tragic event, someone who is still haunted still to this day, has been waiting, biding their time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to set things right, right, at least in their own twisted mind. And so the mutilations begin. The Mutilator is a favorite of mine. I practically grew up with this movie. So maybe that gives you some kind of idea of who you are dealing with on this channel. From the moment I seen the cover art on the rental store shelf when I was a kid back in the day, I was immediately hooked. Just look at this cover art. That's one of my all-time favorite slasher movie covers. And I clearly remember saying that tagline over and over again as a kid. By sword, by pick, by axe, bye-bye. That's classic stuff. And I have to say, I have to give credit. Not only is that some amazing cover art, but the fact that they were able to put a close representation of that image in the actual movie, well, that's just mind-blowing to me because that doesn't happen very often. So I thought that was extremely cool. The last thing that I wanted to touch on in this section of my review is the score. The Mutilator features something that I consider to be a lost art in today's cinema. It actually has a theme song called Fall Break that perfectly ties together with the movie's alternate title, Fall Break. Now, it's not necessarily a great song, but it is fun, and it just takes you back to a time when some filmmakers would go that extra mile to add in something a little extra just for fun, and this song does just that. It helps make the movie fun. I also wanted to say that I really enjoyed the eerie music that was added to build the tension for the later on stock scenes. That was nicely done as well. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the characters we have in The Mutilator. What we have here is your very stereotypical characters that we get in slasher movies. The main character of this movie storyline is Ed. Ed is a fun, likable guy who is surrounded by a supporting group of friends. Ed went through some tragic stuff as a kid, but has grown up fairly normal with all things considered. Ed's girlfriend is Pam. Pam is your virgin type character that keeps Ed holding on, if you know what I mean. Basically, what I'm saying here is if Ed is going to get anywhere with Pam, he's going to have to be very patient. At a certain point in the movie, there seems to be a slight shift towards Pam's character, setting her up as the smart, brave final girl. 
We also have Ralph, who is a standout. With him being your typical comic relief character, we have his girlfriend Sue, and we also have Mike and Linda rounding out this group of fun partygoers. Overall, I highly enjoy this group of characters. I have seen this movie to the point they all seem like familiar faces to me. Of course, some of the actors are better than others in this movie. It does stand out, but if you're anything like me, you don't watch slasher movies for award-winning acting. You just go with it and have a good time. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. First, I want to say that I do prefer slasher villains who wear masks. To me, it makes the killer stand out and become more unique and more memorable. With that being said, The Mutilator features one of my all-time favorite slasher movie villains who doesn't need to wear a mask. Big Ed is already intimidating enough. He is ruthless, cold-hearted, and relentless, and he has waited long enough to get his revenge. And as far as the kills go, with a movie title like The Mutilator, you have to deliver the kills. And this movie does just that. With our title character, The Mutilator, being set up as a hunter and a fisherman, the movie does have a decent enough body count. But the important thing is, the kills are a lot of fun to watch. With having a killer with a certain set of skills, we get a wide variety of kills. We have a drowning, a person is killed with a boat motor, which was cleverly foreshadowed early on. We have a very unfortunate girl who is pierced through the crotch and stomach by a huge fish hook. We have a person who gets a pitchfork to the throat and a good old fashioned battle axe decapitation. Overall, I highly enjoy The Mutilator. It's a fun classic slasher movie. I recommend this Arrow Blu-ray. It has a nicely updated 2K restoration. The VHS copy was notorious for being too dark to see what's going on, so Arrow did a really nice job with their release. They also added a lot of the good stuff that was cut back into the movie. IMDb give The Mutilator a 5.2. I'm going to give it a 7.5. Remember, evil never dies. It just rests a while. It watches. It waits. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen The Mutilator or just let me know what you think about my review. And as always, I would like to thank you all for watching.